Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here. We are doing a two-box random country break from jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is break number three, 2016 Panini Prism Euro Soccer. How exciting. The Euros are happening. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. There are all of your countries and all the combos as well. And let's roll the dice. Two and a two, four. For the hard way, one. Two, three, four. Matty K in the pole position and David H with the 15 spot. Four times for the, the countries. One, two, three, and four. Germany on top, Poland on the bottom. Nice draw, Matty K with the Germans. Albert with Iceland, Puria with Italy, Harry with Wales, John with Spain, Alan with Czech Republic and Russia, Manuel, Garza, you've got Belgium and Turkey, John Parker, Albania, Slovakia, Iceland, and Hungary. Right there, we've got, why is Iceland there twice? Oh no, Ireland and Hungary, my bad, I can't read anymore. I lost that ability. Ireland and Hungary, Croatia, Romania for Kisby for Troy, Jason Heggs, you've got Austria and Sweden, Todd, you've got Switzerland and France and Portugal. With your last spot mojo, wow. And Harry with England, Ukraine, and Northern Ireland. David H., Poland. So there you go, folks. That was the randomizing portion of the video. We're going to pause the video really quick. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back. There were no trades. So that list right there remains the same. There are the two boxes of Prism. There it is on the 15th, break number three. Oh, right there, prism, break number three, blah, blah, blah. And here we go. There's box number one and box number two. Let me open up all the packs in here first. Prism Euros have started, ladies and gentlemen. They have started. I have not, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was, I was in New York for a friend's wedding. It was a great wedding, too. And I... I did, uh, I did not have a chance to watch too much soccer. I was too busy New Yorking. But I know that, that pretty much all the groups have only done uh, like one round of games, I think. Um, have, have any of you guys been watching the Euros? What are, what are, some, what are some of the m more exciting moments? Um, who's, looking, who's looking really good right now after a game? What do you think? Oh, I think the second round of games actually were going on today. So the other, others, most countries will be playing, playing their second games pretty soon. Has it been exciting? I've only saw a few highlights here and there. But we'll, but we'll see. We'll see. France, I believe, beat Albania today, but they had to beat them really late. Like, pretty much in the 90th minute and deep into extra time to, to actually... Well, they got the second goal deep in extra time, but it took it took them 90 minutes to score a goal against them, which could be interesting. France are one of the favorites to win the Euro. Euro products are really good, folks, and it could have could have a lot of huge hits in here. Wales looked good. Wales topping their group right now with, uh, with I believe, a great goal by, by the Welshman Gareth Bale. Wales facing, facing England next, I believe. Friday? Thursday? Tomorrow or, or, tomorrow, tomorrow or, uh, or Friday, something like that. So uh, England will be facing Wales, which should be a pretty good matchup. England settling for a draw uh, when, uh, against Russia, I believe. Somewhat disappointing. I think the English thought they were going to do a little bit better than that. Uh, going across the pond for a little more soccer news, Copa America. Copa America Centenario is happening in, um, in the United States. We're hosting it. And the U.S., we have managed to find ourselves into, in, in the quarterfinals against Ecuador. Now, in these knockout stages, anything can happen. Anything can happen in these knockout stages. So we're crossing our fingers for that. I believe that game is also on Friday, something like that, the quarterfinal matches. Okay, here we go, everyone. Good luck. Box one, random countries. Could be potential for some monsters in here. 
Alexander Corcoran for the Russians, Refractor. And we'll pause at just the numbered cards and the big hits. We're going to kind of move through these base cards. Olic right there for Croatia, Refractor. Nice inserts in here. And you'd be, you know, you'd be surprised at how well these cards do on a secondary market. There's Sardar Aziz for Turkey. That'll go to Garza. 236 out of 249. Let's see what we have here. It's a nice set, just came out just in time for the Euros. I think we'll be doing a lot more of these breaks as we go on. Nice Zoltan Stiber for Hungary. They're not numbered, but it's a nice, uh, nice insert nonetheless. Red, Paul Pogba. Could be a huge transfer away from Italy. He plays um, in Italy, but is French. 29 out of 149, red for France. That'll go to the Switzerland and France combo. That would be Todd. Got a refractor for Romania. Got stars of the midfield, the Italian, Andrea Pierlo. Legend. And another one, an autograph for Italy. Nice. Ricardo Montolivo for Italy, going into Puria. Nice autograph there. Excellent. So in these boxes, there's either an autograph or a low-numbered prism parallel. This particular box Add an autograph. Nice. Good. Nice break. Nice box right there. Next one. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Um... We could, if you'd like, if there's another break that looks like it's it has some momentum, I'd be happy to do another break before we call it a night, folks. We can knock out one more. Spectra Basketball, our final case, our very last case of Spectra Basketball on the website right now. Random teams, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We could probably squeeze in another one of those one-box breaks of National Treasures Multisport, the collegiate break. We can probably do that. That's only 21 spots um, only 21 spots at $24.99. It's a one-box random last name letter break. Only need 21 people, easy to fill up, very quick to break, very fun to do, big potential for big hits in there. You guys remember the, if you go to our Instagram and dig around their Instagram a little bit, at Jackie's Hobbyland, you can search for that. I pulled a one-of-one one cut auto of Jackie Robinson in his UCLA gear, which was, as a, you know, as a Dodger fan right here, it's pretty incredible to see, and a UCLA fan as well. It was pretty incredible to see. What was more incredible, this is part of the story that a lot of people don't know, the person that who got that card got it from a one-box break of National Treasures Collegiate. Got it out of a one-box break, and I'm pretty sure just bought one spot as well. That's, that's very much a classic all-it-takes-is-one story. So that is also available at the moment on jazbeeshobbyland.com, plus a bunch of other fun breaks. We will be in TriStar Houston. Be in TriStar Houston, so be sure to see all of our uh, special TriStar Houston breaks on jazbeepoggyland.com. And uh, like I said, if you want to fill up one more before we go off air, I'll be down. If not, we'll be on again a little bit on the earlier side tomorrow. And not only that, uh, we only have a limited amount of time together tomorrow before we're in Houston. So keep that in mind. So I would encourage everybody to, uh, to, to pretty much hit the ground running and buy spots later tonight overnight etc etc i'll probably be tweeting and instagramming a little bit tonight just to get people uh just to remind people about that and get them into uh doing some breaks tomorrow so hopefully we can get some things going so unfortunately we'll be short on uh conversation time but hopefully we can still maximize our time with a number of breaks before we go off to try star houston this weekend all right two more packs to go Doing a lot of traveling. I wonder if I'm ever going to have time to watch any of those Euros ma Euro matches. Although, 
It doesn't get too exciting until all the group stages are over anyway. All right, here we go. Second box of this two-box break. It's only $18.99 for a random country. That's it. It's not bad. Peter Czech, refractor for the Czech Republic. Get it? Another refractor going by there. Nice Wayne Rooney scoring leaders. Refractor. They pulled Wayne Rooney back into the midfield. It's traditionally a forward, but that that's the strategy they've they've been that Roy Hodgson in England have been using. Let's see how that whoa, nice! The autograph wasn't even turned around. That's Andrea Pierlo. Italy having a massive break. Two autographs. Montolivo and then Andrea Pierlo. The legendary midfielder for Italia, Forza Azzurri. <laughs> Very nice. Nice one for Puria and Italy. Let's see if we can find a bunch of prisms for everybody, right? Mats Hummels, nice one for Germany. 111 out of 249. That'll go out to Maddie K. Mats for Maddie. Refractor for Poland. Spain Refractor, España. Let's see what else we have. Any low numbered cards that we can bust out of here? Or is it just going to be that Andrea Pierlo? No, we've got some more color coming up. Nice for Poland, Robert Lewandowski. 111 out of 149. Very nice. Nice one for Poland, going out to Big Boys 007. And you'll see a lot of his name in the Euros as long as Poland keeps surviving. Johnny Evans for, I believe, Northern Ireland are playing pretty well. Fabio Contral for Portugal, going out to Todd. 108 out of 249. And the last bit, I think that's it. Looks like just uh, base cards right here. There's Diego Costa... Refractor for Spain, and that's that, folks. The big hit out of here being the autograph. The legend, the Italian legend, Andrea Pierlo. There you go, folks. That was a two-box random country break number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. The next one will be in store. Check it out on the website. We'll see you next time.